Qatar surprises you the second you arrive to the airport with monumental works of art, like the seven meter tall bear sculpted in bronze that sits peacefully inside a limb. The work of the Swiss born contemporary visual artist, Urs Fischer, tries to move travelers with lovely objects from childhood or home. Um, that caused a lot of fuss at the beginning, and that's kind of the first taste of public reaction. Why would you spend uh, that much of amount on a teddy bear. Well, how does this relate to Doha? This has no, no, nothing to, um, no context to us, but today, if you look at it, you think Qatar. The idea is that art should envelop visitors from the moment they arrive to Doha until they eventually return home. In the arrival concourse at the Hamad International Airport, the work untitled by Italian artist Rudolf Stingo portrays Qatar as a small country aspiring to be big. Stingo covered three surfaces with a reflective aluminum face insulation panels before inviting members of the construction team at the HIA to draw on the soft walls at the time of the airport's construction. The walls were then cast in copper and electroplated with gold before a number of pieces were selected for permanent display at the airport. Art is part of every society. Um... And at any, at any part of history, there, there is art. But for Qatar's contemporary art, I would say it boomed in the last 10 years. And especially in the last five years, it, it had a very significant boom. Qatar was one of the first states in the Persian Gulf to promote a public art program. Today, it has more than 100 monument sculptures and light installations. But the football festival incorporated another 40 pieces, a treasure that are not only within the cultural institutions, but can even be found in public plaza or the metro station. They can also be found in the commercial area or in the desert itself. This is the time to think about that. And we are in the World Cup. The World Cup is a time to think about the world, not just about think about who is going to win and who is going to play great, great football. Of course, I love to play football and I like to see it too, you know, but I think nowadays there's a new game a more important game because now we have the understanding of the whole planet and I think this is a moment, an important moment to think about all of it. Along with Qatari artists from all over the Middle East and the rest of the world, this Brazilian and Lebanese American creator, Simon Fatel, exhibits their works in desert areas of northern Qatar on the outskirts of the Al Subra heritage sites in Ain Mohammed. So uh, it's, this is a chant. A chant is a pray. It's a pray for a new time, it's a pray for a new earth, it's a pray for a new humanity. Humanity with more gentleness to, it, to each other and also to the planet. If the idea was to impress the world, then that was achieved by the English artist Damien Hirst with his controversial installation of 14 sculptures. Its 20 million value seems like nothing compared to the 20 billion infested in the Cedar Medical and Research Center in Doha. The first in the region focused solely on the health of women and children. This work, the first nude sculpture in the Middle East, tells the extraordinary story of the reproductive process, starting from the sperm, the egg cell, and the embryo, all the way to a 14 meter tall bronze baby that weighs 216 tons that invites you to reflect on life.